Hi everyone, I hope you're well as we've entered another week in this uh, strange season in many ways, isn't it? But uh, hopefully I have a few words this morning that will encourage you. And uh, a few years ago now I was in a swimming pool, a lovely open air swimming pool, and I was standing um, a few feet from the edge of the pool, and on the edge of the pool was my little four-year-old nephew, and he is about to make his first jump into a swimming pool and he's crouching, he's ready to pounce. But then he looks up and he sees me and he says, you're too close, move back a few steps, move back a few steps, for which I comply. I step back two steps and uh, he then announces what a, a, a massive jump in a very dramatic way announces the leap that he's gonna make. But he's still not happy. He says, move back a bit more, a bit more. So I move back a bit more but at that point, I look down at the water and I look that up at where he is on the edge. And I think there's a lot of water now between me and my little nephew. And I wonder whether he is going to make it. And uh, he's ready to go and he's just about to leap. But he stops, he pauses, he looks at me and he says, you will catch me, Uncle Keith, won't you? Because he realises that the only way he's going to have a safe landing is if I faithfully catch him in my outstretched arms. And I nod and say, yeah, I'll catch you. At that point, he almost immediately leaps and he's airborne and he's hurtling towards me. And as he's hurtling towards me, he shouts really loudly, bonsai maniac. Now you have to get into the mind of a four-year-old to even understand what that means. But it did make me smile at the time, but I was able to catch him and he was safe. And in that moment, trust and faithfulness combined and came together. An hour later, he is still jumping. He is still encouraging me to move back, move back. And he's still shouting bonsai maniac for all to hear. But the trust my little nephew put in me that day mirrors the trust that we can put in God. And we can trust God because he is unchanging and he is faithful. Let me just read a few scriptures. It says in Malachi 3 verse 6, For I, the Lord, do not change. The writer uh, to the Hebrews reminds us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. In Hebrews 13, verse 8, and Paul, when he writes to the Thessalonians, says, The Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard over you and guard you from the evil one. And as a result of this, that God is faithful, that we can put our trust in him, it means we can be strong and courageous. It says this in Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He is always with us. He will never leave nor forsake you. And I love what the Apostle Paul writes to the Ephesians in Ephesians 1, 19 to 20. Let me just read that scripture. God's power is very great for those who believe. That power is the same as the great strength God uses to raise Christ from the dead. That is an amazing scripture right there. It's an amazing truth right there. And because of that truth, next time you wonder if God can catch you and stop you from falling, read that verse. The very arms that defeated death are the arms awaiting for you. Next time you wonder if God will forgive you, read Paul's verse. Read that verse. The very hands that were nailed to the cross are the hands that are open to you. They're the arms of Jesus and he will wrap them around you. His arms of love right round you. And next time you wonder if you survive the jump, think of me catching my nephew. If a little boy can put his trust in his uncle, how much more so can we put our trust in God who is unchanging? He is an unchanging and he is eternal father to each one of us. We can trust God because of that truth, because he is unchanging and he is faithful. Let's just spend a moment giving thanks for this wonderful truth. Lord, 
Even though, Lord, the season we're in is uncertain, we don't even know how long it will uh, till it ends, Lord. We thank you that day by day, hour by hour, Lord, we can put our trust in you. We can turn to you. And Lord, I thank you we can do that because we know that you're unchanging. Your character and your nature never changes. Lord, we thank you that you're faithful and you'll always be faithful. You're always there to catch us, Lord, whether we make a leap of faith or, Lord, uh, when we're stumbling, Lord, you prevent us from falling because of your faithfulness to each one of us. So we thank you for that. And, Lord, I just pray because of that, Lord, let us really pick up that truth. Because of those truths, we can be strong and courageous. We needn't be afraid. We needn't be terrified in any way. So, Lord, I just pray that you would fill each one of us today with your spirit. And, Lord, Lord, would you fill us with your boldness? Would you fill us with your grace today, Lord? Would you reassure us, Lord, if we need reassurance today and help us give us the faith to always turn to you and always put our trust in you. We pray these things in your wonderful name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you.